Well, intriguing details have been revealed about a warning our country's spy agency delivered to a New Zealand citizen. SIS officials believe the Kiwi was carrying out foreign interference on behalf of another country. An officer was sent to warn the person last year while they were meeting with a foreign government official at a cafe. Details of that interaction have now been made public as part of a report into the NZSIS procedure. So here's how the officer delivered the warning. They said, my name is from NZSIS. You are not being detained. Your actions are foreign interference on behalf of the foreign country. You are a threat to New Zealand's national security. You need to stop this foreign interference. We know what you are doing and so do others. You have been in the media recently and our annual report. Enjoy your meeting. Well, for more on this, let's bring in former New Zealand Defence Minister Wayne Mapp. Kia ora, Wayne. Thanks for joining us tonight. Now, in your experience, how often are these kinds of warnings given out? Well, in my experience, uh, both as Minister of Science and Innovation and Minister of Defence, you know, it happens from time to time. I wouldn't say it's you know that frequent, but you know there are certain countries. In fact, actually, a particular country, uh, which has a pretty intensive uh, operation in New Zealand, because we have some areas of expertise, uh, especially around. Um, you know, agricultural products and so forth. Everyone remembers the issue of kiwi fruit cultivars and so forth being smuggled out of the country. And so they have, you know, they keep contacts. You know, this is not something in New Zealand's interest that these things happen. So uh, the SAS has two kind of roles. One, it uh, surveils foreign governments to see what they're doing here, you know, ones that are adverse, that is. And two, it kind of looks at which New Zealanders or permanent residents or indeed people on visitors' visas are interacting with those governments. So what kind of information would this person have been gathering and how do they gather it? Well, it would depend on their job. Probably it would depend on their job. And it would be in almost certainly something that they have, you know, sensitive information they have access to. Uh, and, and that's the sort of thing that obviously interests uh, certain governments. And that's what the SIS, the Security Intelligence Services, established to do, find out who's doing this, and in this case, give warnings. OK, so I think New Zealanders think we're just down here at the bottom of the world and no-one's taking, taking much notice. But is it just the case that there are a bunch of people out there wandering around the country just doing this stuff at any given time? Well, I would not want to overstate the problem, but the reality is it does happen, and that's why we have the Security Intelligence Service. I mean, it's, it's not there for no reason. OK, there seems to be quite a protocol around this uh, from the SIS and how they approach this. Um, are the current settings appropriate for our spy agency to be doing their work properly? The role of the Inspector General was hugely strengthened in 2014, and so they take a much more active, you know, overview role and that I would think this is part of that. I was involved in sort of looking at their work uh, when I was on the Law Commission. We did some work around uh, security intelligence uh, roles, obviously the legal framework and you know the, the situation is better. There was you know things were being done in the past that didn't have proper legal authority and things like that. It's all much more straightforward and there's a lot more oversight and um, you know protection of people's rights. Okay, okay. Well, thanks very much for your insights tonight, Wayne. Thank you.